I'm glad I can share this uh, devotional with you today. These thoughts come from a discussion that we were having yesterday at our Zoom Sunday School class. I hope everybody who's listening to this devotional today knows that we offer a Zoom Sunday School class 1030 on Sunday mornings. And if you don't have a link for that, I hope you'll contact us at church office at cscfamily.org. It's a nice discussion. We have a number of people who show up uh, for it, and uh, we'd love to have you be a part of it. Now, what we were discussing yesterday came uh, about as we were thinking about uh, ideal people and ideal role models. We are in a time of a lot of cultural reevaluation. Things have been changed around. We're taking more time to rest because we have to stay uh, indoors, we're more isolated, and we're thinking a little bit more about what things are really valuable in life. Is the career so valuable? Is the family more valuable? What about faith? What about matters of, of life and death? Those things have become much more important to us, and we're all in the middle right now of thinking about it. Values indeed are important, and it is good that we're taking time as a society and even time as, as uh, Christians to reorient ourselves. Well, in the last uh, few years, I came across a book uh, that I found was a very interesting cultural analysis of uh, our American Western culture, and that's this book. It's called Where Have All the Heroes Gone? The Changing Value, The Changing Nature of American Valor. Where Have All the Heroes Gone? It's a book published by Oxford Press, and it's about a study that was done at the Farley Dickinson uh, University uh, in New Jersey, and how they surveyed um, a whole um, a variety of uh, groups and had a number of focus studies uh, that uh, they were able to uh, help to analyze uh, a number of things about the way we talk about ideal characteristics in America. And it was interesting that... Um, uh, they found gaps between, let's say, the way the media produces uh, uh, heroic value versus what uh, the populace thinks about heroic value. But I think one of the things that was most interesting was that 59% of our society didn't feel as if they could point to one hero in public life. 59%, that's uh, nearly 6 out of 10 of us, uh, unable to point to uh, an ideal figure. And it's very different than the way it used to be uh, a number of years ago, where you could look to uh, someone in society and say, oh, that person's a hero, or that person is somebody that I'd like to be. When six out of ten uh, say, essentially, that uh, we can't, um, then we're lost with uh, an ideal figure within society. But as pointed out to, in this Sunday school class, actually by my father, uh, that uh, we're now as a society starting to realize that uh, those who put themselves uh, in a place of sacrifice and service to others, who are even willing to risk their lives, they are being looked at as heroes. And I'm sure you've seen a number of times how uh, people have uh, recognized um, uh, those in the medical profession, and it's right and it's good that we do them. But I'd also like us to just think of two things that we can add as Christians into this uh, discussion today. And these are two verses from uh, the Gospel of John. This first one is uh, from John chapter 13, and it's verse uh, 12 and 13. As uh, Jesus is speaking this uh, right before uh, uh, his crucifixion at the time of the Last Supper. And we read there, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Love each other, meaning love those within uh, the body of believers, but then be willing to lay down one's life in a form of sacrifice uh, for one another. Indeed, that is great love, and that is a heroic virtue uh, that is good for us as a church, but is also good for society. So I challenge you to think about uh, uh, what is uh, of value uh, as you conduct uh, yourself so with your family and with your friends and also in society uh, to increase love, uh, to increase service. But then uh, also to remember that the ultimate hero is our dear Savior Jesus Christ, who was the one who ultimately offered his life for us. And I read these words uh, from John chapter 10 as we think about this. I am the good shepherd. 
the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Our Savior, Jesus, the good shepherd, the one who ultimately lays down his lives, uh, his life uh, for others. What a great example for us. And as we're part now of a time of evaluation of what is a true value, what is a good value, I hope in the church that once again we'll think of love and sacrifice. And as we contribute to the broader society that we too would raise the values of love and sacrifice. We're praying for you at the church. God bless you today.